hey hey and today i am unpacking fruits 18. let's have fun and let's go and today i am unpacking great all right so first of all i really like the interface let's see there are tab of fruits where you can play analyze the game you play then menu and database of the games you played i think well oh well yeah, there are also play chess tab where you can watch live games, go to the actual play chess, which I can try now. Let's see. So yeah, it feels like it's different interface. It looks very cool. I like it. Yeah, everything looks very, very good. Then, as it seems, here you can play bullet play blitz three minutes, play blitz five minutes, which I think I won't do. Let's watch live games. Um, okay, so that's live games which are going at the moment on the, yeah, in real life from European Team Championship. For example, this is the game between Berkes Ferenc and Anton Guharo David. It seems like this game will end in a draw because of perpetual and basically, yeah, no way David will win. Uh, then Sargisan Firuja. Wait, there we go. That was Slav. It was everything very good e5 is an interesting idea when h3 is a big blunder would have been a big blunder from Ferruja because of bishop of 7 and it's a queen <laughs> gone let's see this basically Gabriel so his son wanted a draw but Ferruja did not want a draw these Basically, in that position, Ferruja is already better. So you can see here, it is like 1.5 advantage for Ferruja. And then slowly, but surely, Ruby C is a great move. And then 93, and here, here Ferruja won. Very interesting game. So basically, here all the games, oh, top games. Um, then, let's see, oops, uh, whoops, wait, wait, I closed for it. Oh, yeah, oops, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> okay, so, basically, let's open for it, because I don't know how, but I closed it. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, here you can watch best blitz game on the play chess. It is, as far as I understand, choosing the best players on rating. Here we got a game of Honey Moon against Atom Rav. Yeah. So I think Atom Rav should win, but it is three minutes without increment. So probably Honey Moon will win it on time. And. Yes. That is it. I don't know why, but always when I open something on play, just Fritz. The actual Fritz closes. Oh, uh, well, wait, wait a second. Let me close the play chest. As I already said before, I like the interface. Lock off. Um, so let's open Fritz again. <laughs> okay, so here are online apps. Let's start yeah, with chess news. If you open, that's basically all the chess news, like who plays right now, Zooks buying some positions, and yeah, pretty interesting articles. Next, wait, why every time? Oh, there we go. Now we did not close. Then there is live database. Basically, you can watch and 
you can freely see like for example you played e4 and you can see who played these games and yeah like for example you play knight f6 the and here you can see the most popular moves like for example knight c3 so these games don't change but you can freely open them and then you will see like for example mvl against peter swidler and how this game has been played and here you can see deep rates 14 stockfish 11 stockfish 13 analyze and maybe yeah there is free 17 so pretty much yeah and here peter in felt like completely equal position managed to win yeah the, because this position is very closed this was a long game so we can skip more to the end and here peter is a rook for some pawns up and then he got a crushing attack and he successfully won it run away from perpetual and won it though it was not so simple oh well um so let's see let's see next is cloud just be yeah so basically my games is which games wait where are my games <laughs> wait I accidentally wait clear no wait <laughs> Wait a second, I made an oopsie, I made an oopsie cloud. Let's open my game. So basically, where's my games? So yeah, here you can search for player. And basically there will be some games which are in database, which I played. So yeah, that's interesting. Here you can analyze. Next of is is openings wait uh yeah so basically open in service that's actually pretty interesting so for example here like for example you see e4 is the main move and then on e4 <gasps> wait yeah S wait yes white server did not load and here you can see like half closed games open them and then that's not on e4 but you can see like for example budapest gambit and then you'll click on that survey and then you can analyze like for example knight g4 is main but knight e4 is also interesting for example these and for example, that's like first 10 moves of Budapest Gambit. Then for example, you want to see Catalan, you open Catalan and you, there are five variations. And you, for example, want open main variation, which is 29 moves in total. Not something, uh, not something a lot, but yeah. So basically, and then here you can see basically the main line on that. Here you can see like instead of a5, Grishuk against Dominguez, it was knight bd7 played, and then in 47 moves Grishuk won. Or you can see bishop d5 was played, and queen c2, and here Robert won, it was a draw after 34 moves. And for example here you can see enough against Aronian, this game ended in 23 move draw. So service, yeah basically opening training is also very cool. Next up is video portal. Basically here you can see the videos to see the openings, middle game and end games. And the next scene which I will <laughs> do is tactics. Let's solve six puzzles. So let's see. I already solved quite a lot of puzzles as you can see before that. But okay, here rook e8 and it says continue and here rook c8 and you can see the difficulty of move here well okay that didn't feel really difficult it was mated one um okay here it is 1892 difficulty but 94 i want to right click draw arrow but till i made a move and here knight g3 fork in the rooks and puzzle is solved let's see 
You can pause the video and try to find the solution. It is made in two, black to play and win. Okay, I hope you found the solution. The solution is queen h3 check. He takes our queen and rook a6 mate. That was a pretty interesting puzzle indeed. Here it seems like a bit harder puzzle <coughs> if you check rating. And basically, you can sleep board. I'm not sure if you're solving puzzle with like why you would sleep it, but okay. Here's hints. If you're struggling with this puzzle, you can or make a move hoping it will be correct, or you can ask for a hint. And yeah. Then you can go to next position. I don't want to risk it. And solution, I think it will show you the solution, but you will get minus on rating at the same time. So, let's see what is good here. Sure, h3, g takes h. I think I might do this. No, not the strongest move. Oopsie doopsie. Let's see, queen h1 is the move I consider. Yes, continue. Now the move is 22-0-3. Feels interesting. I think knight e4. Then queen e4, bishop c5. That's the strongest move. Oopsie. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, knight e4, he would have taken my bishop. Pretty much, yeah, he definitely could. Let's see, bishop h3 is interesting. Yes. Now, I mean, 23-42, but I would probably just take on h3. Not so sure, but I will. Yes. Ooh, that's actually wrong. Ooh la la. Ah, then it's bishop h4. And if he takes, here is check. He moves his skin, check. And puzzle is done. That was interesting one. All right, black to move and win, easy. Feel free to pause the video and sync. All right, I hope you found the solution. If you did, then here the solution is d4 forking the bishop and the knight and you win next one is master level that looks pretty interesting 2498 wow that's pretty interesting no well, that's super interesting <laughs> d4, c takes d, I mean d4 is maybe weird, but I like the move on its own. But I'm not so sure if it is correct. e5 is interesting to try to play f4, and I think I may play it. Woo, plus 13. Now f4, and I'm breaking through. No, I did not, don't see yet, yet, what is correct here. I think knight f4 should be good. Yeah. And now, I think if I will take, he will have queen, e, queen f4, and then queen f5, or queen e3, and he will be good. So king g8, and puzzle is done. Nice. Wait, okay. Here it's made in one. Again, feel free to pause the video and think. The solution is queen c2 and it's mate. Next one is 47. Oh, wait, 47, 37. That would have been a pretty hard puzzle. But okay, the yeah, rating is 24, 37, not 47, 37. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would have been a pretty challenging puzzle. Let's see, I like rook d3 a lot. Rook f3 is his threat and I attack h8. Rook and b takes his threat. Let's see if it's correct. Yes, it is. Puzzle is done. Okay. Let's see. Maybe one or two more correct puzzles. 21, 12. I see the solution. It is quite tough. So you can see here. Let's see. Feel free to pause the video and think. 
Okay, the solution is rook to a1. He takes, then I play queen c1. If rook b1, I have queen a3 check, so check. He's forced to go king a2. Now c3 check, and after that, there is queen b2, and it's made, and puzzle is done. Let's say 24 64 puzzle. That will be, if I'll solve it, will be, will be a very good note to finish puzzle solving for today. Let's see, my candidate moves are queen d1, and yeah, I think it's my best move I see. So basically, queen d1, king b4, king b4, f a5, and after king b5, queen b3 mate. If king d1, king a2, I have knight d2, with queen b1 threat, and if he'll play bishop h, queen h7, I have knight c2. I think I should be winning. No, it's actually not the strongest move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Interesting. What's the strongest move then? I'm not sure. Let's see. B5? Queen B1? No. Um, hmm. I am not sure. Ah, 92 check. And now Queen C4 mate. Very, very cool. Nice idea. Okay, 1979. Why to move and win? <laughs> Difficulty of this puzzle is interesting. So. Yeah, if you want, feel free to pause the video. I won't make a pause. So yeah, I think the solution is rook to g4. If he takes with the rook, I take h takes g and I'm winning. If he takes with the pawn, I play queen e4 and I'm also winning. If he takes my queen on d4, I play rook g5 and I win. So rook g4, h takes g and puzzle is solved. That is very good. Now let's go to Fritz and let's go to easy game. Let's try to play against Fritz. Okay, wait, it doesn't open. Do I need to close? Play chess by and why? Uh, okay, let's try it out. I have down to Fritz eighty. No, oh, yo, yo, I'm not sure what's happening. Easy game. There we go. Now it's loading. Okay, let's start right away. <laughs> New game, let's try one game with white. No, 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 no. I am tired of playing black all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's just tired. He said he is tired of playing black all the time. Okay, then I'm gonna play with black. Develop your king's knight. Okay, uh, let's see. I played. Oh, you can play blindfold. Oh, a lot. That's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe something I can do soon. Wait, let's see. I remember there was levels. I played against club player. Let's try master candidate. And let's see, block a pawn. But I think knight of six is good. Basically, hints. Let's have them. Though I can turn them off, let's just see the experience. And he's talking. Okay. So, basically position is equal. Right here you can see which pieces are good and which are black. Move your epoch. Okay. Can I talk with <laughs> Okay. So basically his skin is very good on position. Then rooks are not ba are bad because they did not develop at all. Pawns are good more or less Sacrifice off. Upon. Mr. Rook, <laughs> sacrifice it. No, 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 I'm not crazy to sacrifice a pawn. All right, so bishop b4. Let's see, I'm gonna castle. Then I think d5. Then I am going to play c5. Knight c6. Takes. Takes. Basically, everything is book, as far as I understand. Okay, rook d8. <laughs> that was a good hint. Wait, it's slightly better. Calculating bishop c4 to d3. Depth 8. Interesting. Okay, g g3? That's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> exchange something. But if I don't want to exchange... <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, maybe a good hint. Uh, okay, so basically c takes d. 
C takes D, knight D4. Let's turn our fins, okay? Because it feels like it may be a bit too much. <laughs> He's interrupted. <laughs> Let's see. E5 is interesting. But uh, E5? Hmm. E5, I don't create a huge threat. E takes D, C takes D, takes D. Yeah, so I'm going to take. Now, knight to D4. And I think we need a pawn. <laughs> He's pretty sinky fool. Um, calculating 92. Ah, uh -huh, of course. <laughs> You always calculate something, and then a second before playing it, you move something else. I know it. Okay, queen d5 is good, I think. Position is equal. It's interesting. Uh huh. Queen e4, knight d2, queen g6, and I can advance my bishop. So maybe I'm gonna try it. Not sure. There is also queen c5, bishop c5, rook d1, rook d1, bishop d7. Well, yeah, maybe let's... Because, I don't know, queen e4 feels like he has rook g5 and he has something. So takes, 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 takes. Like, no hints used and well played. Thank you. Black is slightly better. Okay. The right move, black is slightly better. What is he said? Did I find the great move? <laughs> yeah, maybe I found the greatest move of all time. Uh -huh, and he said because he's worse. Let's see, bishop a4. Because bishop 6 has knight, d knight e5. Which I don't think it will be good. Queen c5 is brilliant move. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, rook c1. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> he feels, feels... He seems confused. Oh well, oh well. I guess his idea is rook c7. But I can play knight d7, and if rook c and bishop 6, trapping his rook. Right. Okay, I think f6, and then e5. Whoa, your card down 2590! Oh! <laughs> I played at 2590 level, that is cool! <laughs> nice! Ah, that's why he played. That's interesting, that's why he played. Bishop b2 to f after bishop 6, knight d4, look at that. And then, yeah, his knight is not under pressure and he puts some pressure on me. Is he said because I'm playing bad or is he said because he's worse? That's what I'm not sure. I can easily just throw my pawn. If you don't understand what I mean, we throw a pawn, like play e5, gives the pawn away. I can place on bishop c6, rook 7 bishop f3, rook g7, and maybe look for something. Maybe not exactly this, but some some way to give away a pawn. I mean, like that. That's what I meant with throw a pawn. Just throw it away. Let's see, rook d8 is interesting. Because rook b7, bishop 6 I'll win the knight. And if knight e4 from him, I will play e5, knight e6, rook 8, and I think I should be good. So let's go for it. Okay, black slightly better. Be thinking. Okay, here I have an edge. So you can see here pieces are my bishop is good, all of my pieces are well coordinated. His a3 pawn, from what he says, is pretty bad. Okay, e5. Yeah, here I can play bishop c6 because he may play knight e7. <coughs> it feels like he's better. Okay, I think I'm gonna play g6. So, in general, my pawn structure is great. In general, his pawn structure is, well, more or less good. <laughs> He's so funny face. <laughs> okay, only... Does it make only me laugh? <laughs> okay, I think knight c5 is interesting. If it'll take, I'll be a pawn up. An opposite color, bishop, rook endgame. Pre precise play. Black is better. Oh, am I? I think knight b7 will be a blunder, because I will take. Ooh, that's interesting. We'll throw him. Let's see. I like considering move like knight to e6. Rook c4. B5, 
Rook C6, B4. Hmm, interesting. Knight A6, Rook C4. Should be 3. Rook C3. Bishop C6. Let's consider Bishop C6. Threat is Rook D6. But he may play knight b7, and there I think I won't have much. Okay. But bishop b5, can you what? Okay, bishop 6, knight c4. <clears throat> I can easily play like knight a6. So let's play bishop c6. Here, bishop b5, check. King g2, knight b7, rook b7, bishop 6, win a rook. If king g1, I will do in between a rook d1, and the same. If king e1, I'll give knight e3, and knight b2 is a threat, I think. Oh, wait, king d2 here. Ah, yeah, yeah, I think I may have missed something. Oops. Oopsie. Actually, I think I did miss something. Yeah, because he has king e1, knight d3, king d2, and it feels equal. Let's see. Oh! Why did he play that? I'll just take... Why didn't he play king e1? I think that's a critical moment uh, later on after the game I will analyze. So let's see. Basically, I think now I'm completely winning with being a knight up. And yeah, I think it should be very good. Cool, knight c5 is a cool move. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure if king of one, rook c5, and maybe he had to go for that. 26, 78! Oh. <laughs> okay, that looks good. So, basically, my knight position, yeah, it feels like it's not awesome, because my knight is stuck here, and it cannot go anywhere. Okay, he sinks. Did he give up? Did he give up? Wait, did I win? Wait! He gave up or no? We can have pre-move. Ah! What? <laughs> what just happened? Wait, wait! Wait, what? Excuse me, wait a second, how am I playing with white? I was playing with black all the game. Hello, 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 hello. How? <laughs> what did I click? <laughs> Offer in exchange. Wait, what did I do? <laughs> Help. Wait a second. Draw. Master candidate. Prince rejects your draw offer. Hey! <laughs> How did we swap? <laughs> and he rejects from. <laughs> oh, yeah, yo, what is this? How did that even happen? Can someone explain me? <laughs> huh? Can we switch somehow? Uh -uh. <laughs> oh well. Um. Oh well. Let's resign. Well, you're good at a lot of other things. I'm only good at this game. <laughs> are you good at this game, or are you good at switching? <laughs> I'm not sure. Wait. Uh. Okay, I guess I can count that I won this game, right? Technically? I was not playing this wide. How did that... I'm not sure what happened. So yeah, let's quickly analyze. I will count that as a win. I will play against a Grandmaster. Um, so yeah, it basically, G3 wasn't so great. I think, yeah, 
I'm slightly better. So basically this, queen d5. Then if he would, yeah, there is nothing much. Bishop f6, g takes f, I would be fine. So this, this. And I think he was all right. Only, what about knight c5? Does he like it? Yeah, knight c5, basically if he would have taken rook c5, he would be more or less fine. Or even rook c8. And then this, this. And then he said like, no, wait, yeah, here king e1, that would have been equal. But then here, he said, do you want to see a magic trick? I didn't say yes, but I somehow switched to them black. So that was pretty weird. Good game, but... No. Thanks for starting me. I was feeling so bored. <laughs> New game oh, black again. Black, black, black. When do I get to play white? When did you play the last game? <laughs> Develop your king's knight. <laughs> when I get to play, when you played last game, and then you substituted Holmes up. He's pretty sneaky. <laughs> okay, let's take h3. I think. So it's basically pirts with pirts. Not something I play a lot, uh, to be honest, but looks interesting. Safely move now? Wait. Wait. I'm confused. <laughs> it's about click move now. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so trippy. Okay, let's play knight e5. I think I shouldn't lose the pawn. I think it's about click move now. Previous game? Because you can replay click move now. <laughs> it feels so funny. Okay, yeah, so I am going to take um, this. I'm going to take. White is slightly better, they don't really feel the advantage. So it seems my pawns are in general pretty good placed. My rooks are more or less fine. Placed king, queen, bishop, knight. Pawns are greatly. Rooks are, eh, not so good. Okay. Used, well played. Let's see, position is equal here. I think b3 is an interesting move. Saving my pawn, because I don't really want to lose it. Queen 6, but he'll play like bishop e7, right? Because he never... Oh, queen d b6. That's interesting. Okay, queen c6. Here I think c4, because I, he did not attack my pawn. But when I played b3, that was originally my plan too play that. Bishop a3, <coughs> as it seems, just prevents my bishop to uh, rook to c1 move. Let's play knight d2, trying to trade off his knight. So now only my king and pawns in general are good. Others aren't so good. What that? It's like well placed. Okay, these? Interesting. Can I? Pl oh, knight b1 would have just lose the game on spot. So maybe I'll play c5 trying to trap his bishop over there. Knight e4. So white has. I have an edge. Let's see. These. Now queen to c4 with maybe idea rook a d1 d5. I'm playing on elo 2750. Wait, wait, wait. That's interesting. Slay rook ad1 with d5 idea? <laughs> right, who needs teams anyways? Well, you hit it by, by, by yourself. So it seems like now I have more better position. As, as you can see, well, it's actually now 3-3. Three, three. He developed his rook a bit better. Let's see. My other rook is 
pretty not greatly placed. I'm thinking about f3, trying to put this rook into the game. And as you can see, my pawn is also yellow, not perfect. d4 pawn is pretty bad. So let's play f3, trying to get my... No, black is in... Ah, no. I think position is more or less equal from now. So, yeah. Rook up three. <laughs> I really like the rook, it feels so funny. <laughs> okay, whoa, does he just give away a pawn? Wait, let's see. A6 pawn is bad. So that's smart. Wow! Fritz is playing very smart. Because A6 pawn is bad for him, it is. it cannot be protected by any other pawn, so it is a weakness. And he gives it away for c5 pawn, which is better, because sooner or later it may be a threat. So that is very smart play by Fritz. That is good play from him. And I'm not so sure. So my queen is, I guess our queen says it seems are the same, yeah? I mean, maybe his queen is even a bit better. So maybe I'm going to take, uh, then, yeah, my rook is still bad. I mean, not bad, but not very well placed. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Let's play rook f f1. Uh oh! His face seems like he likes this position a lot. <laughs> okay, place the rook bd8. Ah, uh, his idea is bishop c5 again. So maybe I'm going to play like rook b1 b4 idea. So yeah, he's calculating bishop b4, trying to get out, or maybe e5 is being played. Oh la la! I think he did not really consider this move. I think he considers everything. But yeah, b4, he takes d bishop f4 and rook b3 idea. Let's try this out. I'm not sure if it's better. If it's good. But it looks interesting. Play rook b3. Maybe create some problems. Maybe create no problems. <laughs> okay. So from here it seems like he is slightly better. He's calculating on d3. Uh, rook here. He'll play d2. Yeah, otherwise I think my plan would not would make no sense. Okay, so here I'm going to take wait, yeah. I'm going to take because if I won't it if rook d1 he has bishop c1. Okay, here, so, okay, that's interesting, rook f2, rook d, rook a6, rook d, d2, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> plus one for him though if you can see he is <clears throat> in general not so good pawn structure uh, but I have three yellow pawns he has one and two so basically he has better rooks in mine and maybe better king position yeah these pawns may be a scene which I don't really want to keep I'm not sure how to 
get rid of them. Maybe like G4, and if you play Rook D2, play Rook E1. The idea of Rook A6. Yeah, I'm not sure about that move. <laughs> Wait, he's like smiling and just like, hmm. Then he's smiling and then he's, hmm. Yeah, so Rook here. I think Rook F E1. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Oh, I meant to play King H1. I don't know why I played. Okay, yeah. <laughs> GG. Mm -hmm. Let's analyze the game. Uh, enter analyze. I wanted to see, like, Rook G2. Uh, there we go. Yeah, King H1? If I didn't have some headline? It would have been rook a6. Maybe I'm not better, but I'm fine. So I hold it pretty well against the Grandmaster. I think I may play one more game against uh, Master Candidate. Here's this. So everything was good. Knight e5. Here, knight c4 was an interesting move. Rook b8, b3, z's, c4, bishop a3, c5, yeah, maybe f3 wasn't so good. Yeah, here f3 was an inaccuracy. I had to try to play, like, I don't know, bishop d2, with maybe bishop c3 idea, and closing my bishop, so if you'll play king f7, I will play bishop a5 with b4 idea, close trapping his bishop and yeah i'm slightly better and it takes out that slowly you got slightly better position but i was holding well until i <laughs> i just wanted mate one that's a huge blunder to go for king h1 that's the best move ah though now he already saw it and he has bet no oh, he doesn't think he has better position Z H6, Rook A6, Rook C2, I would go back into G1. So Rook G3, Rook here, 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 King H1, there, A3. And position is pretty complex, to be honest. Rook A3, and it's unclear. But I just blundered mating 1, and that was GG. <laughs> All right, let's uh, easy game and let's play against. Oh, it's you again. How delightful. Let's have some fun, yeah? Okay, let's play against Master Candidate. And he starts off with e4, with Sicilian. No, 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 no. No, please, no hints. Okay. a6, bishop here. That so basically that's book. Yeah, that let's see knight d five. I'm not sure about knight f six. I think maybe I need d six first of all. Okay, these um knight e seven knight d seven. Okay, it seems he's slightly better. Okay, though, takes. I'm gonna take. These. Okay, um. Bishop e3. Yeah, so I already said, I guess, multiple times so far. I really like the rook. In Fritz, and I really like the interface, it looks very cool. Okay, f4, right, slightly better. Let's play d5, like trying to say, take my pawn, please, so can develop better. So I think he will on Let's see if he will. Yes, he does. Queen d6. Yeah, he's like feels like I'm not sure yeah he plays like very 
interest yeah he always plays very interesting but he plays like very good and then he makes some weird let's say move which feels like loses the advantage maybe it does not but at least it feels so oh it's English should be 77 mistake yes knight c5 oh yeah maybe <laughs> I'm the one who will make this mistake yeah he'll definitely play it and then I'm not sure Knight d8? I think I'm like forced to play knight d8. Yeah, it feels so. Which is better. Ah, now he's smiling because he's better. No, <laughs> when he's slightly better, he's like, hmm. I can't even make this smile. So, on um, spiciness, it seems like position is normal. On his development, he has three points. I have only two. So, my rooks are the least developed pieces yeah b4 i'm not so sure what to play actually this yeah he's slightly better um mm -hmm. okay bishop a8 f5 is interesting Queen c6? Oh, did I make a mistake? So if I'm playing on like 25-10 and he does not mistake. So his master candidate is around 2500. And GM is like at 2600 Maybe? Not so sure about that move. It looks interesting. Like first he gives away a pawn on c4. Second f f5. And yeah, it looks like I should be fine. So, I think I'm going to play a 5. <laughs> I'm sure I made this. So, he'll play knight b7. I'm 99.9% .9 sure in that. Then I'm going to take back with my knight. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Ah, that's a cool point. Because now I'll take... He'll take knight b7, probably? Yeah, so basically... He has four. He has so good development of his knights that gives. Now it's actually still four for him. Ah, because one of his knights is not taken. Yeah. Let's see. I can play f takes c, so there he'll have knight c5. So it's, I think, like knight b7. Or, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's take. Ah, oh, he's happy. <laughs> He's smiling, he's happy. Happy Rook. Happy Fritz. Ooh, that I think may be not amazing. Because now I think I will play like Rook F8, protecting E6 pawn. Because if 95, he would have probably just jump in on my pawns and that would have been not good. It seems like two from 2 to 3 fire is pretty normal. Wait. Interesting, is there like one fire? Yeah, because now position is two fire. It does not feel any spicy, just basically composition. And if someone will blunder, he will blunder. Whoa, that is an interesting idea from Fritz. Yo. I can just play B takes A, it seems, and be a pawn up. But then he left rook A4. Hmm, would be interesting move from Fritz. Let's see, I'm going to take B takes A, I think. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, so I'm playing on 2500 ELO rating. That is cool. So I think he will take. I'm forced to take on C8, of course. Um, okay, so now I have three and he has three. Now I have two and he has two. Basically, my knight is worse than his. Yeah, because my knight basically cannot move. He can play knight d6, can play knight c5. My knight is very not well placed. Okay, now in spiciness, it's a bit more spicy, uh, more, more fiery, let's say, because, yeah, it feels like it got more tactic here than before
Because queen a4, queen e6, that's a tactic technically. So that's why position is a bit more spicy. Let's see. Queen c4. That looks like an interesting move. Maybe it's not good, but... Maybe queen d6, knight d8. Yeah. Not so sure. Because I need my knight out and queen c4 doesn't really help. And I can get... He can play b5, so I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knight e2. Is this move? Um... Yeah, knight d4 is his idea, I think. Maybe, queen, no, queen c6 doesn't work. That's a bit of a problem. I think I need to play knight d8, because that was basically my plan, right? To play queen d6 and then knight d8. So, yeah, he has better pawn structures than I do, because my e6 pawn is really, really weak. This b4 pawn can be a game changer at some point. So that's why his pawn structure is better. Let's see, I'm going to play queen d2 maybe? Just like forcing him to play rook a2, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's... Oh, whoa, he does not play that. Why it has an edge? Ah, so when it's an edge, it's not so good. I actually thought when he has an edge, it's better than slightly better. But yeah, he feels not happy, so... So yeah, let's play rook c2, trying to create more fire in the position. Yeah, the position is equal, that's nice. Now he thinks he's better. He's not sure about evaluation. Now I am slightly better, woohoo! Though, how to use it? No one knows. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm thinking like rook b2, and then win in b4 pawn. I think if I win b4 pawn, there will be not many chances of losing. So as you can see, his knight is red very bad, and his king is very bad. And my queen position is amazing, because it's very active, so that's how I game changed, let's say. Because just two or three moves, I got much more effect, uh, active position than him, and now I'm better. Let's see, rook d4, uh, rook b4, excuse me. Uh, queen e3. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to take... Looks like a mistake. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, that's equal. I'm actually scared. <laughs> um, looks like a mistake also. Ah, so I'm not the only one mistaken. Huh. I guess rook f4? I'm not sure. Just maybe rook d no rook d4 is mate. So I need to either run away with my king or or a miracle. King f7? I mean I guess it is crazy, but maybe it is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure. It looks sad this position is sequel. I think like position is equal, there is like only way to make a draw or so. I'm not sure though. Okay, king f7. Fine, you keep your chance. I don't like <laughs> Yeah, queen 7 king e... Very sharp, as you can see, 5. Our kings are both very bad. Um, knight is worth for him and for me, but position is very sharp. So, he may mistake, I may mistake, everyone can mistake. Yeah, now it feels like an up and down. Maybe Ruby 2 was a mistake. And I don't know what I need to play. Okay, fine, keep your chance. Thanks for keeping my chance. Thank you very much. Ah, I got it. So it's like, ah, okay, I don't need, I don't need, I'm saying, no, I don't need to draw. Take the win. And he says, no, no, I don't need to win. You take draw. <laughs> or what? <laughs> Maybe. Kina fate do I repeat all that? Mm-hmm. I didn't think I will. <laughs> Feel stressful. Maybe just King G8, King H6? Wait, King G8. I mean King G6, Queen E8, King H6. Ooh, ooh, okay. 
Okay, he says position is equal. Uh huh. Feels like this position is this game is crazy. Yeah, queen e8, I think, is his move. Uh, oh, queen seven. I'm slightly better. Now he's sad. Don't be sad, Fritz. Don't be sad. You always have to be happy. Even if you lose. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not sure. How am I supposed to? Huh? I'm not sure. Whew, that's a pretty wild game. <laughs> it is crazy indeed. I mean, he says I'm slightly better. <laughs> Does anyone of you but think I am slightly better? At least I don't. Maybe anyone thinks that I'm better? Slightly better, not better, but slightly better. <clears throat> I'm sure feels like uh, feels like Rook F4 will bring him into a knight king position. But at the same time I'm not sure what move to make. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Queen B2, I'll just give away the Knight, Rook of Four, King G3. Oi, 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 oi. I'm really confused. No jokes. Ah, Ruka 4. I'm considering Ruka 4, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I did not see all the times that Ruka 4 will just run to Queen of 4. <laughs> okay, that is funny, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, queen b2 then. Then I don't have any choice. Position is equal. Yeah, so my king is very red. His skin now is... Okay, it's slightly better. I think rook b7. <laughs> it ends all of that. <laughs> then maybe it won't end all of that. Oh, rook b7. Rook b7, knight b7. I think <laughs> I think all this craziness is gone. Mm, okay, it's sharp. Okay, so his skin is bad, but my king is worse. Yikes. Then my e6 pawn is still bad. Poor e6 pawn. Been bad for half of the game. Okay, knight d6. Now I'm better. Don't be sad. I say that already, Fritz. It's just a game. Yeah, that's a deflection to get his knight. <clears throat> yeah, he just takes. I am going to take back. Uh, black is better. Now position is calm. My e6 pawn gives my pawn structure not so great position. Um, let's see, I think queen c4, putting pressure on f4 pawn. Yeah, I was like thinking rook f4, and then I just run into... <laughs> <laughs> and then my brain understood that if I will play that, he'll just take with his queen. And I was like, oh, <laughs> come on, I spent like five minutes. Okay. Um, okay, queen e4. Is he going to take? No. <clears throat> Let's play h6 just to make my king safe. I finally want him to be safe with no checks at all. No, maybe no, maybe no, maybe king h5. <laughs> king h5! King h5! No. King h7. Is he going to play queen d6, prevent an e5? Maybe. e5, yeah, just, <clears throat> just trade. King g3? Oh, g3 by pawn. Hmm. Finally, my pawn structure is better. Look at that. <laughs> Even pawn is not bad. Yay. Okay, 26, 10, elo. That's cool. Let's play king g6. Okay. 
Okay, I'm better. Clearly better. Let's play King H5. And then slowly try to go inside his camp. And then when I'm one move from eight, we will <laughs> switch. Switch. Like in first game. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, that would be not funny. Which game? <clears throat> G5? And G4? Oh no. G5, H6, G, H6, G. F takes G. Queen H4. I mean, I am better. Yeah, I think. I feel it. I'm not sure. I'm going to go Queen B1. I think there shouldn't be control. Yeah, maybe King H5 wasn't good. Queen H5. What? <laughs> I was talking. Can you repeat? Please? Oh, so we need two King G6. I think I should be good there. Is he sinking? I get white. Then buckle up, my friend. How did I get switch back? I felt it. I'm not sure what's happening. Is it a bug? Maybe. But feels queen e4, queen e4, f takes e, f5, king g8, king g3, king f6. Wait, wait, I'm confused. f5, king g8, king g3, king f7, king f4, king f6, king e4, king g5. That should be winning. Oh. Ah. Okay. Yeah, it's pawn structure, isn't it? Great, and now G takes F. 2870! <laughs> Let's go 3000! Let's go! 3000! Elo! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I'm better than Magnus! Yay! nice Whew. so that was a good game i really like fritz 18 let's analyze the game it was very very cool as i think infinite analysis and let's go right from the start yeah it felt a bit not good i think i messed the lines though eight of six is not a disaster um bishop here castle these these so maybe he's slightly better but not so sure <clears throat> so these he didn't have any crazy advantage this he takes b a knight nice move from him this rook here basically we are equal b takes a that here he felt like he's a bit more better position. The queen d2 and like in two moves it like changed. Then rook a8 here. Okay, rook b4 was a mistake. Aha. Uh -huh. So I just need to go for queen d6. And... Ah, the checks line is cool. So basically rook b4 and he doesn't have all that idea so I'm slightly better. Let's see. <coughs> that <coughs> is a mistake which lost everything. You had to go for queen 7. I would have not found king g6 probably. I would have played king e8. And then rook a7 and he's winning. So yeah. <coughs> now I thought rook a4. But then I understood that rook a4 he can just take. So queen b2. Z's. Now we got completely equal position. And I am not so sure how. But I again right here got switched. Yeah, no, well, not here. So basically, that same blunder. After what I lost the adventure, I took, that would have been even worse blunder. I had to go for queen f3 and king h5. Then I am winning. So king g3, this, 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 h5, and then king g2, this, and here. Wait, what? Okay, so basically that's an enormous blunder. 
it will go for king f2. If I would go g6, king e3, that, that, and it's a draw. And if I go for king g8, king e3, this, 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 king e3, and it's also equal. Basically, king g8, and I promote it, and I ended the game, and ended the stream with 30, so 3060 elo. So that was a great scene. <coughs> So I already said multiple times, I really like Fritz. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, then follow me on YouTube and on Twitch, please. And as usual, click the button and subscribe to me. And please comment on this video and please join my channel. And yeah, please join my Discord, please. Link in the description. If you'll join my Discord, you'll get notifications when I stream and Twitch post videos on YouTube. As I already said, link in the description. And yeah, bye bye. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Stay cool.